And I'm going to hit launch. I'm going to hit start recording too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're here with Kuma. And we're back with AI, the Somnium Files. This time we're continuing off where we left off last time in Mizumi's timeline. Mizumi? Mizuki. My brain is a little fried because I was watching BlizzCon, so bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm still in one piece. Where were we? Where were we? That wasn't intentional. <laughs> that wasn't intentional at all. Oh. Oh my god, straight back to it. Straight back to it. Straight back to it. Straight back to it. That music. Oh god. Oh god. Now I remember where we were. Now I remember. Sorry for the trouble. Oh, I'm right back to last week. Hey, Elaine, how are you? I'm straight back to last week. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? <laughs> what? Ew, what? I didn't lick anything. Where the hell did that come from? Whoa. Am I wearing, what am I doing? No slouch, it's summer now. It is summer. Anyway, thanks, Date. Sorry, that was an interesting mental image. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Oh, okay, so we're okay for everything. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. All right, so we're dropping off Mizuki with boss. And don't worry, we'll be talking about the BlizzCon announcements on the Discord. Let's focus on AI for now. It'll be over soon, don't worry. But they're very exciting. Besides that, Date, there's something I have to tell you. Oh boy. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Is it Kagami? Kagari, Magami, something like that. <laughs> Even she can't remember his name. Kaniza? Oh, yeah, that's it. A message from Kaniza. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. It's Kagami! Could he have... The blood results? I'll head over right away. Mizuki, you be a good girl, okay? Ugh. So we're leaving her now? That's just shitty. Jeez. That's shitty. I wanted her to come with us. She's so awesome. We've seen him say he wants to sniff shoes before. Let me just take a sip of my coffee to process this. God damn it, Date. Date, sorry to make you come all the way down here. But I have the results of the DNA analysis. Here we go. What did you find? It's just like you said, there were two different blood signatures. Okay. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. And the other? The other. Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't find any matches in our database. <sighs> that is not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. What now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. Here we go. What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. We're gonna get shot up. Wait, that guy? He's looking this way. Isn't that so Sojima? Person? Zoom. How did I know? That's... So, Sejima. I don't believe it. His left leg. Huh? So, Sejima! Stop! But if we have the DNA on the blood, <sighs> we can just get his DNA and just prove it was him. <sighs> Damn it! 
Can't we just call Boston having a rest warrant? Oh wait, he's a bull. It's him. So is the culprit. Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was only dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnium. And that was creepy as fuck. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. And he has an injury on his leg. Dante, calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? I don't know, they had dirt on him, maybe? Why would he cut out Iris's eyeball? Well... However, I do agree that So is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Okay, so just store that blood, and so if we get a circumstance where we can get his sample, we've got something to compare it to. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches So's... Right. We need to get So's DNA. So are we going to follow him around until he drinks from something? The question is, how? Where can we get So's DNA? Uh, the Commodore's office. Is he a smoker? Lemon Skate, I don't think he's there. His house, possibly. Central Hospital, I don't know if he has any blood there that we can steal. So's house? If you went to his mansion, his DNA would be everywhere. Well, it is no Fat November, so it might not be. But it will not be easy to get inside. He has hired bodyguards as well. Okay, so we can't get it there. I know it's not going to be the hospital unless he has blood packs there. I checked their database. So Sajima has never received medical treatment at that hospital. We would not find So's DNA there. Maybe Lemon's scared, I don't know, he likes schoolgirls. It's it's probably the Kumakura's office where he smokes. If there's a cigarette or something. What would you be looking for at Lemniscate? So has no connection to the entertainment office. Alright. Okay, so let's go to the Kumakura's office. Hey Aiba, do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of the sofa? The cigarette butts. So was smoking those cigarettes. Exactly. And so saliva might still be on the butts. So basically these guys never clean their ashtrays. If we have that, we have So's DNA. Wait a moment. That was two days ago. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. All right, let's head there. <laughs> A whole investigation lies on the hope that they don't clean their ashtray. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh god, these guys again. You fucking with us, old man? Date, don't bother. I know. I approached the sofa without saying anything. I looked at the ash on the table, but... Hey, where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts, from when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? Ugh. Why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. 
I see. Just last morning, I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it, but I heard something about it being streamed online. Oh, right. That was a set. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. Oh, so that's why they're not so violent. I know that, idiot. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, he'll help you arrest this guy? Correct. All right. Look around as much as you want. Huh? That was easy. <laughs> you said you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. The henchman went into the back room. They came back with four cigarette butts in a plastic bag. I used disposable chopsticks to lay them out on the table. I didn't touch them. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. MoMA? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Doesn't Ivo remember? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date, remember the brand that So was smoking? Right, he was smoking. Eh, uh, Rookie, Ramboro, Lamas, Klein cigarette, of course. Klein. Yes. I remember. So was smoking a Klein cigarette. Correct. I love how Iba knows, but she doesn't tell us. I wrapped the Klein cigarette butt in my handkerchief and pocketed it. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Nah, this was nothing. Anything for Tessa. Tessa? Did you just say Tessa? This is so awkward. What, what are you talking about, you Neanderthal? I said anything for Tesseract. That doesn't even make sense. Ah, uh, good old fashioned plug. Shut up! If you're done here, get your ass going. This guy's the biggest weave, I swear to God. <laughs> All right, whatever you say. Oh my God, okay. I sure hope Mizuki's okay, otherwise we'll kill everybody. But, since we obtained his DNA this way, how can we link it to him? Because the DNA would match the DNA on the cigarette, and then we could say, oh, it was his cigarette, and that's really circumstantial, isn't it? So, it's gonna be tricky to get that warrant. I'm counting on you, Pewter. Imagine doing this route first. Yeah. You can leave it to me. Peter took the cigarette butt from me. If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse, there would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. And what, what's his name? Um, damn it, I forgot his name. But he basically struggled to fight an old man in his late 60s. I mean, really? Really? How long will it take to analyze? Mm -hmm. If I had six hours... You've got three. <laughs> That's totally unreasonable. You should have said 12. But I suppose... I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. He probably said six on purpose, though. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Where's Mizuki? No, because time is of the essence. Excuse me. He sure does wear a lot of green. Yeah. 
How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. Questioning her? She should be there by now. Good. So, Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. Who would have thought a politician would do something illegal? We don't know that for sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same thing earlier. Shut up, Iba. Anyway, let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. Trouble? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? Why, because he's a politician, he's got friends in high places? They all do, unfortunately. I'm sure the suit makes it harder to fight. It's a uniform, basically. Because if you have people that wear something that looks like a uniform, they're a lot more intimidating. Which is why the Yakuza's love the suits. Never thought a politician would be a Kuda, furry. Is it true? The <laughs> results are in? Yes. The DNA I collected from the cigarette butt is a positive match to the bloodstain from the warehouse. Really? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. And, and I forgot his name, but he got overpowered by a 60-year-old man. That is just embarrassing. He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda. Oda, that's his name. And probably killed Renju and Shoko. Making So Sejima the new Cyclops killer. Thank you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get So. Yeah, you're right. The Sejima's fursona is a discount Shirokuma. I turned around and made my way to the exit. But right when I was about to open the door, it was open from the other side. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Well, then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Yeah. Where else? To So's house. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. I don't like that the music just stopped. What? I can't let you get so. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. Oh god, corruption. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 years now. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Oh, god damn it. Always with the blackmail. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. So, shouldn't we arrest him and make sure he doesn't talk in that case? If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire police force would be at risk. Seriously? So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. That's why I can't let you go. So, basically, can go around killing people as he wishes. Do you understand? Hell no. I see. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me! I had enough, I pushed past boss and left the room. I walked into a confident stride down the hall with no hesitation. I had made up my mind. I was going to search Sejima's mansion. I got into my car, turned the key, and slammed my foot on the gas. Date, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on So, you will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. Oh, she's smiling, so I'm guessing she supports the decision. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Wait! Oh, should I make it a soba place instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. Oh god, please don't be a Mizuki. A video? Look! Oh god fucking Mizuki. damn it! Why is it always Shit? 
That is bullshit. That's what I could fucking why did we even This feels like a trap. Mizuki! Mizuki! Where are you? She's probably in a speaker knowing how hollow they are. Don't worry, I'll find you! Wait, who was accessing my computer? Maybe Mizuki was converted into quantum data and downloaded into the computer. This is so fun! <laughs> this is so stupid. Are you joking at a time like this? A bench press. I'm shit. Seriously? I have to find Mizuki fast. Hold on, I'll find you soon. I looked under the bed, no one was there. Audio. Date, her voice is coming from somewhere near the audio equipment. She must be around there. The bunny rabbit. No, Mizuki. I can't believe you turned into this. If you don't stop joking around, I will kick your brain's ass. <laughs> I love this. Corkboard. I, I want to see what the next message is. Date, not that way. The voice is coming from the opposite direction. Oh my god. I know. Mizuki is in the fridge. I opened the fridge. There were 100 Cleone inside. But no Mizuki. Maybe Mizuki was boiled up with some tomato and chicken. Do you think she's a zucchini? <laughs> this is... This is so bad, I'm sorry, but this is just too entertaining to pass up. A towel. A kitchen. Oh my god. Um, um, is there anything? A frying pan. Well, I guess I'll make myself some eggs. No, now's not the time. What the hell? The aircon. Well, Mizuki is small, but I don't think she got sucked up there. A frying pan. Oh my god. Uh, the clothes. Date. You need to find Mizuki. She wouldn't be there. The window. It's raining hard. Oh my god. Okay, that was a good one. Maybe under the rug. You do not have a cellar. Look more seriously. The sofa. The file cabinet. No? The desk. Maybe under the desk. Are you blind? Mizuki isn't there. The bed. I think that's about it. Audio equipment. It's gotta be the speaker. Date, the hollow space in the speaker. Perhaps Mizuki is in there. Okay. X-ray. Oh wow. Mizuki! Date, hurry! Help her! I feel like this is a trap. I know, I know. We're gonna get banged over the head, aren't we? Are you okay? That hurt, idiot! Pull it off more gently! You're late, by the way! I was about to suffocate, just so you know! <sighs> this is so typical! You're never there when you need to be! Just like six months ago, I was about to miss the bus, and you... <laughs> Actually, stay like that for a while. Huh? Hold. Mm. I don't believe this. Mm. Hold your investigation considered this a warning. Wow, bigger nails is an idiot. Okay. Well, that just happened. A door rabbit. I don't think. Why is my computer on? The PC. I'm kind of worried about the PC. I don't think uh, Date would make it through no fat November. 
Are you okay? Who did this? We know who the culprit is. Let's ask her who did this. Three men. The doorbell rang and they said they were delivery men. I thought you had bought another one of your weird videos or something, so I opened the door. <laughs> this is so bad. And they sprayed me with tear gas. Did you see their faces? No. They were all wearing masks. It is probable that they are working for so. They may be his bodyguards or hired thugs. It just makes me so mad. If they didn't get the jump on me, I would have... Pow! Bang! Bam! Wham! Mizuki, I have just one thing to say. Oh wow, so a random person keeps logging in on different accounts trying to get us banned. Doesn't doesn't realize that we don't get banned for his messages. Hmm? Never in my life have I bought any weird videos. That's what you wanted to say? Wait, he's never bought... Oh, you're right. He gets them on the internet. Gotcha. And thank you, mods, by the way. Thank you. You're doing the Lord's work. Are you okay? Not hurt. My mouth stings a little. Thanks to you ripping the tape off my face. It's okay, you just waxed your mustache. If I get fat lips from this, I'm gonna make you pay for cosmetic surgery. What the f Don't girls want bigger lips though? Hmm. <laughs> He's got a point there. You know who the culprit is. What? We identified the person inside the polar bear. The man who tried to kill Iris and Ota? Yes. And also, the man who killed your parents. I can just report them to YouTube and they'll track their IP and then just ban them on YouTube altogether, so it'll be fine. Congressman So Sejima. So? Do you know him? Kinda. I've seen him on TV before. But why? I don't know why yet. But it was definitely his blood at the cold storage warehouse. I can't believe it. I'll never forgive him. I'll get him for this. Oh wow, we're going on the revenge route. By telling her she's gonna go after him. I'm going to So's right now. Mizuki, I'm going to So's house now. Are you leaving me behind again? No, not anymore. <laughs> Even if I tried to leave you behind, you'd still come with me, wouldn't you? So are you ready? What should I be prepared for? So's bodyguards will be armed. It might get messy. Bring it. I'll put them in the ground. I like it. Don't kill them. Just hurt them really, really badly. We need him alive, and I need you to stay safe. Can you do that? Batsuki. Always. Always? Occasionally. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Date, you have to understand. He killed my parents. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I turn back now, I'll go crazy. I, I think she's already a bit crazy. I know. You don't have to say it. Let's go. Five minutes. What are we getting? Do we have supplies? Do we have guns? Like, what do we have? Why are we waiting five minutes? There must be a reason. Okay, they're not gonna tell us why. Cool, whatever. Let's just roll with it. Okay, we're already there. Sorry guys, I woke up at 3 a.m. Thanks for the warm welcome. Oh, there's three of them. I came for so. Please, take me to him. 
Oh, he's got his gun out. What are you talking about? He's sleeping and not taking any visitors. Go home. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm coming in. I took one step. And then I felt a shock ripple through my stomach. It was a fist growing into my gut. Ugh. Really? I've always wanted to see this line. Nice punch. Well, let me use a line too. This is the end for you, chump. Sejima's orders, nothing personal. That's what I thought. Huh? You're so predictable. What? But there was a gun pointed no, at him. We're not even close to done yet. That's risky. Look. What the hell? Bring it on. Why does he Let's have do this? Why does he have 47s everywhere? What the hell? Are, are there mass producing bodyguards now? Kill them. Date. Wait, they have I'll guns. Why are they guys. running? You get those, Date. Are you okay? Shouldn't you worry more about yourself, old man? Jeez. I'm off. This is so anime. Wait, so she knocked out two guys, and there's all these guys behind her, and... Okay, so, oh my god, what the hell? It's dark. I can barely see. There are numerous hostiles. Too many for you and your revolver to combat effectively. So what's the plan? Hmm, let's see. It's one of those anime moments. Yep, looks like it. I just have to roll with it. Date, the island in the middle of the pond. Do you remember it? Yeah. Your favorite thing is on that island. What? My favorite thing? A porno magazine. Okay. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa! Porno mag! <laughs> this is so stupid. I can't huh? even. Where'd the porn go? <laughs> I can't even. This is just so stupid. And they're not shooting. Load evolver with wire bullets. What am I shooting at? Above us. Above us? Why? No time to explain, just do it! So we're gonna have enough time to load a bullet in a revolver, shoot up while all these guys with guns pointed at us just stand there. Cool. No Fab November in a nutshell. This is so perfect. Are we gonna do like a massive thunderbolt?
What was that? That's supposed to be a warning shot or something? And these guys are still not shooting him. Now throw us the gun. Come quietly. Did they not just watch a dozen of their guys get beaten by a little girl with a metal pipe? Date, do as I told you! Don't you mean surrender? Do it! Do it or we die! Oh, uh, space down. Get them! So what, the bullet's still flying up? Why the fake that? What do you mean? Just watch. You will see in three seconds. Three, two, one. But a bullet travels. The first hundred yards is one tenth of a second. How long is that wire for it to stay up? Without the gun. What? Kuma, could you imagine everyone's somniums if this was set at the end of NNN? I have no idea what NNN is. In the file for the bodyguards, it says that So makes all of his bodyguards wear the same disguise so they can't be identified. Ew, that's clever. I collected my Evolver from the pond. You lied to me again. I have already explained this to you. If you hear the words porno magazine, your reaction speed increases by a factor of 3.6. A rather convenient function of yours. Why wouldn't I take advantage of it? Damn it. How did you know about the lightning? Satellite imagery, atmospheric conditions, and other factors. However, I predicted the lightning would fall elsewhere. So I had you launch wire bullets to direct the lightning to the pond. Like, okay. Anyway. I mean, they don't point out the fact with that much voltage hitting the water where all those guns were, that all those bullets would go off, and one of them would probably hit Date, but anyway. Where's Mizuki? I will scan for her. Ah, <coughs> uh, she got tear gassed again. Mizuki! Someone just hit her. Wait for me! I'm coming! I sprinted through the rain so garden and into the mansion. Not here. Date, I detect trace amounts of capsaicin in the air. Mizuki appears to have been sprayed with tear gas. No. in this room. None of this one either. I thought we had X-ray vision. I can't find Mizuki anywhere. This is... Mizuki's metal pipe. Mizuki hostage. Can we not scan with X-ray? Shit! Date, look around. Mizuki must be nearby. Can we X-ray? I don't want to make a choice that ends up ends up getting a killed. Holding screen? A holding screen, no. Have you looked on the other side of the sliding door? Not yet. But I know there's another room back there. 
X-Ray, finally. Of course. There she is. Mizuki! That is so holding her. Can we go for a neck shot? Son of a bitch is using her as a shield. Because if we sever his spine, the signal from the brain won't be able to go to the hand that's holding the gun. Why isn't Mizuki fighting back? She's knocked out. She does not appear to be conscious. I cannot determine why. But she is breathing. She is alive. I have to do something. Wait, don't move. Remember what So told you. That he can see us somehow. There may be a sensor or something similar in this room. So why don't you just walk outside and shoot him through this door? Or I could just shoot him in the head. Too risky. I would stop that line of thinking. If you shoot now, there is a high chance he will hit Mizuki. Then what am I supposed to do? Let me think. Oh! There's no way you can ricochet shot that. Come on, no way you can predict that angle. There's too many variables, a freaking raindrop! Date, load Evolver with spherical bullets. Then, pick up that metal pipe on the floor. Really? I did as Ivor instructed me to be careful to not draw a suspicion. You need to do two things. First, throw the metal pipe toward the southwest corner of the room. No freaking way. Then, immediately shoot a spherical bullet at the pipe. No questions, there is no time to explain. You sure this will work? If you time it correctly, yes. My calculations are never wrong. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Go! What a good time event. <laughs> Come on! Come on, you piece of crap! What do you do? Shoot him in the head. Oh fuck, if I shoot him, it's gonna shoot her. I can't shoot Mizuki. But if I shoot her, she might flip. Oh fucking hell. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Because I can't. Oh, right. Oh, really? Oh, well, you get. Fuck it. Damn it. Oh, thank God for that. No! Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, fuck, I got shot in the eye bar. Pathetic. Killed by your own father. What? 
By the way, do you like fireworks? Let me show you the most beautiful firework you'll ever see. But don't blink. It'll only be a flash. Fuck yes! How do you like these fireworks? What? My Iba! My poor Iba. Please tell me we have a backup. <sighs> I just want to go to the cabaret club. Oh, I want my Iba. <laughs> what? Iba? What? What did you say? Hey, quit fooling around. Come on. Date, get up! Hey. Hey! Date. Date! But if we shot him, chances are Mizuki would get hit. And that's a shitty ending. So just tell me frickin' Iba is bloody backed up on a system somewhere. I know even the best of us can be taken out of commission by a simple cold. This is not a simple cold, this is a frickin' bullet in the eye. But I always thought Date was above that somehow. Like a hero. A hero? Heroes are supposed to be invincible. Even if the odds are stacked against them, something miraculous happens to save them. That's what I thought would happen to Date. But instead, here he is. You make it sound like he's dead. Ah, so he's not dead. <laughs> right. Sorry. Date has an artificial eyeball called an AI ball in his left eye socket. Wait, I'm a Zuki now? That's exactly where So shot him. So it acted like a kind of shield. Because of that, the bullet didn't go through his brain. It saved Date's life. The surgery to remove the bullet was successful, and now all we have to do is wait until Date wakes up. But what about Aiba? That's what was supposed to happen anyway. But instead... What do you mean instead? Don't give me that coma bullshit. A bed. A bed with my pet lying on it. Date was like a pet cat to me. That's not funny. Aww. It's a bed. Date. Perverted old man. Stupid idiot. Perverted old man. No response. Stupid. Still no answer. I have a feeling if I call him an idiot, he'll wake up. About the AI ball. Oh, that's Iba. Iba? Yeah, Date's partner. You saw him talk to himself sometimes, right? More like all the time. That was him talking to Iba. Oh. <laughs> the second you find out he's not crazy. Oh. He's not crazy? <laughs> okay, but please tell me she's okay. About Date's condition. It's strange, isn't it? The surgery was successful. No EEG abnormalities. But he still hasn't woken up. I think I might know why, but... You still haven't called him a baka yet. If I'm right, it's nothing any of this medical equipment can fix. Just say baka, and he'll be like... Shut up. The problem lies in his soul. His soul? Something's going on in his consciousness. He misses Iba? About Dante's punishment. 
Don't worry about that. It's true that Date disobeyed direct orders. Aren't all orders technically direct? But that order basically came from So himself. Who is now dead. And he's not going to be a problem anymore, is he? So we could have avoided all this by doing what I wanted to do, which was kill him. Date won't get reprimanded for this. Despite murdering a senator. Oh, good. So also no longer has his hooks in the MPD. We can finally resume the investigation properly. I st what do you mean he's his dad? Like, what the fuck? I thought his son was overseas. About the new Cyclops serial killer. All the evidence points to So Sejima. Thanks to Date, I think we can finally close this case. There might even be a promotion waiting for him after this. About Dante, uh, Date, I called him Dante. About Date's soul. He's lost somewhere in his own mind. Lost? He doesn't know the way back. Sinking over and over can have this effect. How can he find his way back again? Only one way I can think of. Sink with him? Maybe. Pages. Oh god, that She's sound! Away, Kuranushi. She's away, Kuranushi. Please come to the nurse's station. Looks like I gotta go. Dude, that sound is bad for me. I'll be back as soon as I can. What? While I'm gone, keep talking to Date, okay? Isn't Kuranushi, um, what's her name from Zero Escape? You might give him a reason to wake up. See you. Talk to him. Huh. Sink. Sink. Curtain. Cupboard. TV. I remember Date would wake up late at night to watch this one show. It was just a girl running towards the camera in slow motion. I didn't get it at all. I wonder if they still have that show. What was this again? A bedside table? Um, bedside table? More like red tied cable. No rhyming. I'm making myself sad. Poor thing. Bedside table. Let's call him a baka. Shizue Kuranushi. You're so stupid. Hey, Date. You're so stupid. You know that? So that's boss's real name. Was mad at you about forgetting Ota's name, but if you forgot Luna's name too, you're just Ota's mom. Grade A, first class, king of the idiots. Why did you protect me? Really? It was my own fault. I went into the mansion by myself, and then got tear gas sprayed at me by soap. He hit me in the back of the head and I blacked out. That's what you get for not clearing your corners. This was all my fault. For not clearing your corners. Everything I did was a mistake. But you came to save me. You made me look like an idiot, you know. You are an idiot! Oh, wait a minute. I get it. You wanted to scold me, right? After saving me, you're never gonna let me hear the end of it. You suck, Date. Big, stupid jerk. He scolds you because he cares. Shizue Kuranushi. Boss's real name is Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue Kuranushi. <laughs> it doesn't fit her at all. Don't you think so, Date? Please, Date. Laugh about it with me. Aww. Date, wake up. Come on, wake up. Okay, big brother. You gotta wake up now. You'll be late for school. Big brother. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to hear, right, Date? <laughs> God! You want to be called big brother, don't you? <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I've seen the anime that you watch. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, say something. Dude, that Date, man. Talk back to me like you always do. <laughs> Argue with me. Tell me that you have good taste in anime. Date. It's not fun if you don't say anything. 
Oh, Akane Kurashiki. All oh, right. Oh my God, Tate, you and your anime. Okay, since we're alone, I'll be honest with you. Earlier, Boss said that you were like a hero, right? I think so too. Deep down, you're a hero to me. You raised me since I was eight. Even when times were hard or you were depressed, you were there for me. The past few days, too. After mom and daddy... I was trying to act like it didn't bother me, but... Really... I was just holding it inside. Staying quiet. Pushing my feelings down. And I just took it. I forced myself to be happy. Aww. But inside, it hurt so bad. Like I wanted to die. Sad and afraid and alone. My heart was about to break. But, but because you were there, I was able to fight it. You being there helped me be myself. But if you're gone, Date, I... Poor thing. If she's seen Date's browsing history, I see why Ota's light novels don't shock her. Hey, Date, wake up. Come on, wake up. I reckon she should just say, I'm dating this older guy, and he'll be like, oh no, you're fucking not. What happened to your promise? You can't tell me you forgot. You promised, Date. We're supposed to eat ramen. Are you gonna break your promise? You're not gonna take me? That's not fair, Date. You liar. And God's a liar, too. I prayed at the shrine. I prayed that you wouldn't get hurt. Aw, she's so sweet. But... <laughs> oh my God. Do you want to save Date? Yes. Then I'll finish my thought from earlier. There's one way we can bring back Date. Someone has to sink into his brain and guide him home. Someone? Mizuki, I need a favor. Dude! Huh? You synced with Date once before, right? Your synchronization levels were extremely high. You two are compatible for sinking. No one is more qualified than you. Please. Please save Date. Okay. I'll try. Oh god, we're going into his Somnium? That's gonna be like... Porno mags and... Little sister syndrome and... Oh god. It's gonna be like one of those Japanese anime. Oh god. We're gonna get demonetized in about five seconds flat. I'm actually scared to go into Tate's mind. Remember, time is six minutes. Do not, under any circumstances, stay longer. So annoying. You told me a thousand times. All right. Mizuki, we're counting on you. Leave it to me. This is gonna be so trippy. Dante, hold on. Where's Iba? Oh I'll my bring god. You back, I promise. Does that mean we're gonna go to the Somnium at the beginning of the game, but we're not gonna have Iba? Hmm. Then let's begin. Dude. Oh god. So we have no more Iba. We're playing Mizuki and we're in Date's brain. This is gonna be trippy. Is this our apartment? It is. The 
this is my house. But it's in black and white. And we've got shutters, so it must be a different time. Is this what's inside Date's heart? Date, where are you hiding? He's probably hiding in the porn. Check his browser. Date! He's definitely in the computer. Like, 100%. Or it must be like the porn mag under the thing. Huh? There's color over there. Is that porridge or... Are we going to get a sad Date story now? Like, what? Mental lock one is the soup. Of course it's the PC, of course. Okay. Bring, Dart, uh, bring back Date's heart. Date's heart is lost. To bring him back, I need to tell him my true feelings. Just hug him. Like... Oh god, sad music. No! Oh... <laughs> No, I did not come here for this. I did not sign up for the fields. I I am honest. Oh my god. Is that Stu? Leave it. Taste it. Smell it. Smell it. Smells like Date's special stew. With eggs. It's making me hungry. I'll have Date make me some when he wakes up. So, he has to wake up. Oh my god. This is so sad. Is that Stu? Taste it. I'll try eating some. The vegetables and meat are cut too big. Are they always this big? It's a memory. Me? Why? Was she complaining about it originally? Hey, Date! Everyone's waiting for you! Hey! Are you listening? So he's thinking about her. Don't be modest now. This is my special recipe. Eat it while it's hot. I don't know how I did it, but I think it came out pretty good. This is when I first came to Date's house. Date, what happened? Why this? The desk got colored. We might restart this a few times just because I want to see everything, but oh my god. Date's police ID. Let's look at it. Date's police ID. Without this, no one would believe he's really a police officer. Leaving it around like this is how it gets lost. If I hide it somewhere, maybe he'll panic and wake up. Aw, oh, never mind. He's too dense to notice something like that. This this music is definitely adding on the weight. Date's corkboard. I wonder what this note is. 
side wop is this someone's name a woman Ugh, useless Date's handwriting is trash I want to explore everything in this Somnium, just because of the way it's set up. Date's corkboard. I don't want to grab it, but I want to throw the ID. Date's police ID. Mm, let's hold it up. Hey! Respect the badge! That is cute. Someone should definitely screenshot that. Just testing what would happen. Date's police ID. You have five minutes remaining, Misuki. Okay, so you get punished like big time for this one. Date's computer. Ooh, fuck, that's a big time. Date's corkboard. A pretty picture of a river. Where is Akikawa Valley? I'd like to go there someday. We'll definitely have to restart this. Date's police ID. Date, get up! Are you crazy? Jeez, what are you doing? It's because you washed your old underwear with my clothes, dummy! Pervert! I gotta be more careful. If I keep this up, I'm not going to get off with a warning and a pay cut. I remember this. Right, so when she... Yeah, she was a Four bit minutes, difficult. Mizuki. Are you all right? I want to all the computer Date's stuff. computer. <laughs> let's, let's see what he's got. <laughs> let's see what you've got! Power button, power button. Where is it? Well, ha! oh, whoops, <laughs> don't know my own strength. Dante, I broke your computer. You can't watch any more porn. You better come out and stop me. <laughs> Someone take a screenshot of this. This is so good. I bet she doesn't even mind the porn anymore. Date's computer. It's probably because he couldn't take girls home anymore because he had a child living there. Hit it! How do I get this thing working? Uh-oh. It's smoking. Uh, maybe it's busted? Better hit it some more. <laughs> she is so slumped. I'm beating up your computer. I can't control myself. Hurry. Come stop me. Date's computer. This is so bittersweet in so many ways. Ha! She better not have. This is all your fault, Date. Get up already. Never throw the computer! You have three minutes remaining. Be careful. Date's qu Okay, I've done all these. A trash can. Look closer, I guess. Ooh, smell it, maybe. Whew. This is... Smells like Date after he's been at work for a few days. Ugh. A trash can. This paper. I'm gonna throw it away, okay? Hope it's not important. How can I get you to react, Date? There's something about this trash can. A trash can. Maybe this. Hey, you're 
Your school announced bring your parents to school day, right? Don't you have to tell Renju and Shoko? Wouldn't matter. Hmm. What should I do? Sorry for making you worry about me, Date. I can't fucking take this clan hat shit anymore. Oh my god. The speakers have color now. She used to hide in the speakers, if I remember. And there should be an Iber ball somewhere. Where's the Iber ball? Iber. Audio deck. A shelf with records and stuff. This is a CD from an idol group at Lemniski. Really? LUE 42, the answer to the ultimate question. What a weird title. You have less than a shelf two with minutes. Records and Hurry, stuff. Mizuki. Listen to music. The power supply. Is this it? Ha! Fuck that, she's not going anywhere near my electronics. Oops. Messed up again. Guess that's why Dante told me not to touch it. A shelf with records and stuff. Dante! Time for your food! Looks like that's not gonna work. He wouldn't be here in the first place. She's like an Olympic female power lifter. You at have the age less than of one minute. You have to hurry. The speaker I was in. Listen, hit it, lift it. What the Nothing. fuck? Nothing. Not a single Date around. The hidden item is a bit tricky. A speaker. I'm gonna end up timing out on purpose, so don't worry. I'm going to destroy all your electronics and stuff. Hope that's okay, Dante. He's not reacting? He doesn't care about the electronics, he cares about her. Come on! React to me. It's boring otherwise. That's why she was doing it. She was doing it for the attention. But she didn't realize that he was giving her all the attention and she just kept pushing him back. And now she's going to realize that by looking at his memories. And then she's going to feel bad. A speaker. My voice! Mizuki! Mizuki! Hold on! I'll find you! I remember being mad at you because you took so long. But after I saw your face, everything felt better. Mizuki! 30 seconds! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your chair. Where is the little thing? A door rabbit. It's at a rabbit. Let's try this one. <laughs> at a rabbit is kind of ugly. I mean, at the time I said it was ugly, but. This is okay. What if she doesn't like it? I'm home! Mizuki, uh, welcome back. What are you hiding? What's that? This? Oh, uh, I, I wonder.
I was just thinking that this place looks awfully empty, right? Look, it's perfect right here. Hmm. Ugly. Wow, Mizuki, wow. Next is... Time? But Date is still... Date? Date! Wow. Wow. You found a garden and how to get the AY ball? Alright, I'm gonna start this thing from the beginning just so I have maximum time, but wow. That is just... Wow. He tried so hard. Is that... He tried so hard. I'll try eating some. He tried so hard. He had no idea what he was doing. But he tried. He cared. And she gave him crap for it. And then she's like, you don't care about me. She's gonna feel horrible after this. The vegetables and meat are cut too big. Are they always this big? We don't give him enough credit. Me? Why? I remember I was saying he took in his friend's kid. And that takes so much, but look how much he sacrificed. He was living in a bachelor pad where he could have, you know, been dating, been partying, doing all this shit, but instead he's raising a kid who's not even his. And then he gets shit for it. Hey, Date! Everyone's waiting for you! The pot will become uh, inter uh, interactable after turning up the heat. Thank you. Hey! Are you listening? Date? Dude, just watching this again, oh my god. Don't be modest now. This is my special recipe. Eat it while it's hot. I don't know how I did it, but I think it came out pretty good. Dude, the feels in this, oh my god. I'm saying dude a million times, but just... He's a sweetheart. A bro, man. This is when I first came to Date's house. Date, what happened? Why this? Ocha's mom tried to, that just ruined him. The desk got colored. But it's a very different situation. In one situation, there were Ota's parents, and that connection was there. In this case, Mizuki is rejecting Date because he's not her parent. She misses her parents and feels abandoned. She's basically like a puppy that you, you know, you get from a rescue that misses her owners or misses her mother and you're trying to give it love, but it refuses to accept it. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. It's a completely different situation. In this situation, Date did absolutely nothing wrong in that he was trying to make sure she's eating when she's hungry. He was trying to make sure that, you know, her her schooling wasn't being overlooked. He was trying to make sure she has a toy. He, d he doesn't know her, but he's trying. He's doing absolutely nothing wrong. Whereas in Ota's situation with his mum and dad, his mum spoiled him a little too much. It's completely different. Date's police ID. And even when she does something insane, like throwing his police ID out, he doesn't go on a rampage. He's like, what the hell? Date, get up! Are you crazy? 
Jeez, what are you doing? It's because you washed your old underwear with my clothes, dummy! Pervert! See, so that's her response to this. And then his response to that is... I gotta be more careful. If I keep this up, I'm not gonna get off with a warning and a pay cut. See, he's not hes not going like, Oh, you shouldn't do that because you're being a little shit. He's like, oh crap, I didn't realize. He's being so mature. And like, man, I for remember a, this. And for a freaking bachelor that has no idea, the fact that he even washed her clothes, like, he he's just trying. He did nothing wrong. A trash can. Poor guy. Oh, maybe this. And this is what's in his memories. Hey, your school announced bring your parents to school day, right? Don't you have to tell Renju and Shoko? Wouldn't matter. Hmm. What should I do? Yeah. It's hitting her now. Sorry for making you worry about me, Date. It's 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 starting to pile up now for her. Now she's really starting to get it. And this music with the piano in the background, oh my god. <laughs> she was so the lucky. Have color now. She was so lucky. She had someone that actually cared about her so much. She was so lucky and she just didn't the appreciate I was it. In. She was always looking at what she lacked, which was both her biological parents. And she completely overlooked that she had someone there that's not even blood related that legitimately cared about her. Uh, that hits like a truck. Hmm. That's my voice. Mizuki! Mizuki! Hold on! I'll find you! I remember being mad at you because you took so long. But after I saw your face, everything felt better. It's at a rabbit. Will the throw it do something? I know you gotta say ugly, that's the memory. I don't think she'll hug it though. What am I doing? I don't wanna throw him. He's my special friend. You have it's five minutes rabbit. remaining, Misuki. I want to see the hug one. <laughs> I love my Atta Rabbit. It feels so warm and comfy holding it. How did you know that I would like it, Date? He didn't. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's man! It's Atta Rabbit. This is heavy! Had a rabbit is... kind of ugly. I mean... At the time I said it was ugly, but... Hmm... I hope this is okay. What if she doesn't like it? I'm home! Mizuki, uh, welcome back. What are you hiding? What's that? This? Oh, uh, I, I wonder. I was just thinking that this place looks awfully empty, right? 
Look, it's perfect right here. Hmm. Ugly. Wow, Date needs a hug. And then when she did hug him after the first Somnium, she's like, oh, don't think anything of it. Uh, yeah, it's like... You really don't appreciate something until it's gone. Next is... And he also gave you his bed, and he's sleeping on the couch. Like, he fucking cares about you. How do you not, like... God damn it. You have three minutes remaining. Be okay. careful. Let's get a, let's get our little eyeball. Um... Finding this one will require you to just do add a rabbit. Before examining the coat or the backpack, you must lift the fridge. It's my bed. Smell it, sleep in it, lift it. <laughs> what the fuck? Underneath the bed. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, thank God. No dirty magazines. How could you just lift these objects like that? It's my bed. Date tried and got all he got was hate, and now she regrets it. It's sentimental as fuck. It is. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything. Good. I can't sleep if it smells like Date. It's my bed. <sighs> Sorry, Date, but I can't sleep anywhere but here. <sighs> Figuring out a dream is tough. What should I do next? Oto would have this cleared in seconds. Now that I think about it, didn't I used to sleep on that sofa? Oh, we're gonna see that memory. When did that change? Oh wow. You have less than two minutes. Hurry, Mizuki. A door. Knock, open, tackle. Might as well try it. This door must be extra tough to take one of my tackles. Maybe I should train with it. A door. Mizuki, hey. I'm sorry about eating your pudding without asking. I'll buy you another one. Hey, come on, open up. I'm at my limit here. I really have to go! I'm gonna piss my pants! Mizuki, seriously, come on. Open the door! That is just unreasonable, Mizuki. Come on. It's a pudding. Wow. Can I lift the fridge so I can get my thingy? No. Date sofa, my chair. The chair where I always sit. You freaking lift everything, don't you? Nah, Date wouldn't be here. He's not a cockroach. Insane. The chair where I open. <sighs> Relaxing. No memory, though. If I stay here much longer, I'm gonna get sleepy. The chair where I always sit. Wait, wait, wait. The chair where I always That's six seconds anyway, so one sixth of that is just that. Ugh, it's got a butt print on it? Uh, I wonder if I sit there too much. 
It's a chair. You sit on a chair. Date's bed. Well, the sofa. Yeah, dick move, Mizuki. Dick move. I was sleeping here before, though. Ah. Mom. Daddy. I said that? Yay, lift the fridge. It's the fridge. Get, get in the fridge, lift it. Alright, ten seconds. Maybe Date is flat under this. Wow, Adder Rabbit went totally flat. And disappeared. Date, what are you trying to tell me? Adder Rabbit isn't cursed, right? There's you have less than one minute. You have to hurry. Oh. Turn it up. The eye will appear? Hmm? What? I can't move. Is this sleep paralysis? What the fuck? Rabbit. What? That's creepy. Are you doing this? Stop! Please! What do you want? <laughs> Why? No! Date! Help me! Date! I have no freaking idea. Iba. Wonder what this is. Wow. Let's finish off the fridge while we're it's at it. It's the fridge. I don't do good with tight spaces. And it's cold. It's the frick. Huh. Nothing's inside. Probably because this is Date's dream. That, that would be terrifying, yes. Date's coat. Date's coat? Kick it. I'm not wearing that. Oh, this smells like that bar marble. Ugh. That was kind of creepy. Uh, nope. Nope. Didn't happen. Mizuki, Date's coat. Seconds. Smells like mama. I'm not wearing that. This looks dirty. It smells like him too. Well, I'm not gonna wear it. I don't wanna wear your coat, Date. Date's coat. 
Did you seriously kick it? Oh my god, that's so rude. No, that's not right. I'll do it when he's wearing it. That's much better. Hey, I got an extra sweet pudding for little babies. You can have it. Watch your mouth! Nice kick. <laughs> wow! She's abusive! Poor Date. He's had to uh, put up with that. My school bag. It's probably this charm, so let's do all the other stuff. Huh. There's nothing in here. I want to see all the stuff that isn't the solution, too. That's weird. I always keep my books in here. Oh, I get it. It's because Date doesn't know what's inside my bag. This is Date's memory. Do you care about me or not? Jeez. Well, it doesn't look in your bag. Jesus My Christ. Bag. Spying on you. Stop being a little bitch. Take this. Huh. That feels kind of good. It came back. Date, are you outside? Wait, should I not throw it then? Probably not. I'm gonna laugh if we actually My make school it. Bag. Even with all the extra stuff. Oh wow, we're just on 16 seconds. Holy crap, this charm. This is from Ikume Shrine. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. Date. Wow. Date! Daddy! Mom! Time? But Date is still... Date? Date! Wow, so she has to make a choice between living in the past and thinking about her parents or actually getting over it and accepting that Date actually cares about her. Oh my god. No, it's okay. I did that on purpose so we can see all the options. Oh my god. So in a way, his wish overrode hers. Is that Stu? She was being such a brat. Be 
cares so much about. You you got you. Man, the male role models in this game with Date and Ota's dad are just... They do not get enough credit. They do not get enough credit. Did we do the hug one? We probably did. Ten seconds. And she called it ugly, but then she loved it later. This man is a human form of love. You have five minutes remaining, Mizuki. So she needs to sleep in it and then figure out where it happened. Okay, let's do the knock so we lose less time. Oh fuck, that's gonna be a big one. 24 seconds. We gotta find something else to cut it. Oh fuck, we have nothing else to cut it with, do we? Oh, 12 seconds, that works. Oh, the sleep in it is going to be a punishment one, so we have to do a knock. Uh, the knock's going to hurt anyway, so 14 seconds. Poor guy. We'll double the time. When did it happen? So far. Sleeps on at 120. Ooh. Did I get rid of the thing as Ooh, okay. 12. Yeah, let's see that one. Take the punishment for that. Four minutes, Mizuki. Are you alright? Sleep on it. He gives her the bed. Wow, she's been treating him like crap. And he's still just one of the best for her. It's the time and connection that makes them family, yeah. That's what makes them family. What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. Wow. Date. Only now does she actually realize it. Imagine if we played every single one of those events from the beginning to this point. Jesus. We'd all be crying like kids Date? now. Date! Daddy! Mom! Date? Date, wake up! Everyone is worried about you! You shouldn't come to me. Go be with your parents. What? Seriously? Date? What the hell? Daddy. Well, mommy sucks, obviously. Daddy! Mizuki, I'm sorry that I couldn't spend that much time with you. From now on, I promise to play a lot more with you. Daddy! Daddy!
So how do we... Hug mom gets slapped. Wow. Wait, so she's halfway here. If we choose Date, we get rejected. So choose mommy and get slapped. Mom? I love you, Mizuki. I'll never let go. We'll be together forever. Mom! Mommy! <laughs> what the fuck? I'm guessing she needs to go to Date twice. Yeah, she needs to go to Date twice. Because he rejects her the first time. See how it works. Poor guy. Date, wake up! Everyone is worried about you. You shouldn't come to me. Go be with your parents. What? Date? Date, please, wake up! I am not what you need. minutes remaining. Be careful. Date! It has to be you, Date! If you weren't here, I'd... Get up, Date! I... 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 need you! Mizuki. Thank you, Mizuki. Aww. It broke a little bit of the emotional chain by trying the other way of doing this, but it makes perfect sense. I wouldn't like watching that from beginning to end, though, with every single thing. That'd just kill me. That would kill me. Captain. Bonds revealed. Took notice. Everyone's going nuts on the chat that he hugged her. What the? <laughs> How did I get here? Dante! Hey, why the sudden affection? Because you're so stupid. Oh huh? god, not a piano. <laughs> You're so stupid! I just want to punch you! Welcome back. Welcome home. 
Ate. Yeah. I'm home. That's such a nice ending. Um, that is such a nice ending. That is such a sweet ending. I mean, I know Aset lost her eye. Ota got stabbed. Date's dad got shot. We electrocuted a bunch of bodyguards to death. But we got a hug out of it, am I right? <laughs> Kaida played Claire the Loon. That is such a nice ending. That is one of the nicer endings. Imagine having this as your first ending and just being like... But it's such a nice ending. And this song. This is a beautiful game. I'm just sad that it takes something like this for her to realize. That's the sad part. She doesn't realize in the other routes. And we lost Iba. And this music is just so perfect right now. Because it's chilling at the back of your skull. I really like this ending, I really do. Not to mention that Mizuki talked what it means to be family. Literally everything that described it has happened now. Welcome home. Ota even saved Tessa, so he might have a shot there. Well, she is on the verge of death, so you know. Then isn't the next route the true ending route? Will she realize in the other routes though? That's the thing. She had to go through this experience to realize. She had to go into Dante's Somnia, which happened during basically a coma, to realize this. So I don't know if it's going to carry over. Lots of parental themes in this game. Suzuki's route is about her and her dad, Date. Oda's route was about him and his mom. You should definitely play it, Christian. You should definitely play it. 100%. No, but yeah, 100... And like you mentioned, this ending is for Mizuki's dad issues. Or, you know, Date, who's her adopted father. Uh, Ota's, Ota's playthrough is about his mother, who's left after, you know, his father died. When we go to Iris's route, it's about her a father, you know, a father figure. And we still haven't gone through um, her mother's route, which is probably the mother side of... My god. Yakume Shrine. Now we get a nice ending. <gasps> Little Iba! <laughs> Little Iba! Oh my god! That is so cute! Little I- Oh my god! That is so freaking wholesome! Why are you on her shoulder? About the new Cyclops killings, what did you pray for? I do not believe in the existence of God. But, being that we are at a shrine, 
I felt it necessary to go with the tradition. What did you pray for, Date? I didn't ask for anything. I just said thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Pardon me, I believe there is a misunderstanding. It was I who saved your life, not God. I was the one who stopped the bullet. That was completely by chance. Wait, do you even remember that? I do. Everything that I see is uploaded to the cloud. God bless the cloud. All wirelessly, in real time. Even if my body is totally destroyed, my data is backed up and never lost. That includes my memories, as well as my central programming, which governs my artificial intelligence. Though, I do not have any information from after being shot. Do you know what Date said right before he lost consciousness? <laughs> no, what did he say? Oh my god, he's got these two now living with him. He is so fucked. I said, Azuki, I'm so glad that you're safe. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. No, you didn't. You were moaning about wanting to go to a cabaret club. That sounds like Date. <laughs> oh my god, he is so screwed. Oh my god, this is so like oh my the little oh my god Oh my god Date is basically fucked. Why are you on her shoulder? It is more comfortable than your eye socket. You can sit here anytime you want, okay? Just hide if you see someone coming. The world's not ready for you. <sighs> Talk to him. No point talking to myself. Let's not. Talk to him. It'll look like I'm going crazy. Let's not. Talk to him. I don't talk to myself like a crazy person. Absolutely not. Talk to him. Let's play a rhyming game. Hey, me. Let's play a rhyming game. You're on. I'll start. Thick. <laughs> of course. Tits. That's our Date. Lips. Hips. You're really sticking to one subject there. Are you certain he was cleared to leave the hospital? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I was looking- this is just so beautiful. A straw of rope. A bell. Mr. Bell. Mrs. Bell. You two really do get along. This is so cute. This is- it's sickening how cute this is. A guardian dog. Lantern. I hate lampreys. You aren't good with seafood, are you? Monument. There's something engraved here, but I can't read it. What's it say? What is most precious to you is not in the distance, it is right beside you. Oh, wow. That's what it says. Huh. That's actually really nice. It is. Stone monument. Chizuya. Hey, this reminds me. You made me look like an idiot, Date. I visited the shrine with my friends and I started washing my belly button. Oh my god. They all laughed at me. I wanted to push you off a bridge. Chizuya. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do these arches always have birds on them? Good question. Once upon a time, when Amaterasu the Great looked down from heaven, he wanted to give chickens a place to roost. Why do I not believe him? <sighs> Why do you always do that? Too long, didn't listen. Oh my god, Dante. Oh my freaking god. Oh my Achuna. An offering box. Hey, Aiba, now that you're in that form, you think you can wiggle your way into that offering box? <laughs> Let's just steal from it. 
Certainly. I go to the money box, you go to jail. Is that acceptable? I guess not. Shrine. It looks rather solemn. Mizuki, what did you pray for? That you'd die soon so that I can collect your life insurance money. <laughs> you wouldn't get a dime. <laughs> oh my god, she took out an insurance policy on you. How about Iris and Oto? Oto was discharged from the hospital. He's doing fine. Iris is still in the hospital, though. I heard. I hope she gets better soon. She's dying. Yeah. About so. There's one thing I haven't told you yet, Date. What is it? Five days after the first incident, on Tuesday, I think. Oh boy, here we go, plot dump! I saw So on my way home from the police station. Where? I was getting dropped off at home. Was he alone? No. Someone was walking next to him. Oh god, I just gotta chill. My homeroom teacher. What the hell? Homeroom teacher? Wait, I remember she was meeting with him in one of those timelines. She's also my mom's best friend. It's a long story, I'll tell you later. No, tell me, tell now. me now. Yeah, what Date said. I don't want to. I need it for the other timelines when we bunny hop. Why not? Because I'm hungry. I'll give you a ramen. I'll tell you over food. My god, she drives a hard bargain. Aiba is on Mizuki's shoulder. You Cyclops killers. The case has been settled. So Sejima was confirmed to be the new Cyclops killer. No crimes similar to the MO of the Cyclops killer have been reported since Sosajima died. But we still don't know his motive. Why were those three chosen as targets? And why hollow out the left eye? It is the opinion of the lead investigators that that behavior was simply the result of So's sadistic, sociopathic nature. Why? Because he's a politician? I don't buy it. I agree. Oh. Sorry, Mizuki. No, it's fine. Oh yeah, the two parents. Gotcha. Who's this guy? It's Date. I had to say it. Iba's looking at a gorgeous man. God damn it, Iba. Let's get going. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. You haven't said it yet. Said what? Thank you for saving your life. I don't recall hearing a thank you from you, either. I saved your life before, too, you know. Well, fine. You don't have to say it. I know that you love me. Oh, wow! That is so cute! That's like a punch to the gut in the feels. Who said anything about loving you? Oh, you don't remember? When we were at So's, you were saying, Mizuki! Mizuki! You sounded really concerned. I wasn't saying Mizuki, I was saying my new skis. Yeah, I was thinking about hitting the slopes later. Nice cover. <laughs> Date, you're a total tsundere. <laughs> a tsundere, one who appears cold or hostile initially, but eventually shows a warm or friendly side. That describes Date perfectly. Wow! I don't want to hear it coming from you two. What? What do you mean? He is so screwed. They really don't see it, huh? <laughs> the bloody soon that Doesn't point. matter. Let's get going. Where? You know. Ramen shop. We're gonna go eat that awful ramen. Really? Yay! Am I gonna get a photo of um, Iba in the ramen bowl? That'd be so cute. <laughs> what the hell am I saying? Oh. They're all bloody tsundere's. Bloody hell. It was so adorable. It's like, he is so screwed in that household. 
He's got now Mizuki and Aiba tag teaming against him. He's got no chance. He's fucked. This game is full of Sundares. It's Sundare Simulator. Mm. Can I take a look at what photos we got? What the hell? Can we take a look at those photos real quick? No, no, no. Look at the photo we got up here. Take a look at this. He's holding Iba, and in this one, little Iba's like pinned up on the board. What the hell? So weird. So. This is Iris's mum's route. Freaking adorable. So Iris, Iris's mum. Classified. This is still locked. So we have to get this ending to unlock this ending, which is. Oh my god, she's on the phone. So cute. Is this boss's route? This looks like boss's route. And then this ends up going into Ota's route. Wait, did I take a look at what photo? Oh my god, so cute. Um, ends up going to Ota's route. And then this ends up going into Mizuki's route. And then it goes down. Okay. So how long from this point to the ending, I'm curious. Let's take a quick two minute break. If someone can tell me how long uh, from this point to this ending is, because this would unlock this route. So if we, if we can do it within two hours, I wouldn't mind getting this ending as well. So tomorrow we can go here because this should unlock after we do this. There's nothing else to unlock. Unless this causes something here to go somewhere else. This is basically where Iris ran away because you didn't go as bodyguard and you found her dead. Ah. Yeah, so in this one, we're bodyguard, so we protect her and she ends up dead. But in this one, we're not a bodyguard, so she ends up dead. Okay, so in this timeline, Iris is basically fucked. Iris's life sucks in this one. She's doomed no matter what happens. One or two, recommend you do it now. Okay, in that case, let's take a quick three minute break since it's a two hour to get some drinks, get some snacks, get some coffee, and we are going to do this route, which I believe is Iris's mom's. Purple route will be locked. No, it won't, because this is locked. Unless this takes me to another place that locks this, unlocks this, gives me that. Like, that would just be too messy. I reckon this would just let me go to the ending. So let's take a quick three-minute break, and then we get to continue. Let's do it. Quick three-minute break. Go, go, go.
подожди, подожди. All right, we are back from our intermission. We're back from our intermission. Nano machine sun. Oh shit, yeah, but the matter. I just actually even put this there. All right, let me scroll up through the messages. What am I looking at? Nano machines sun. He asked for a duration, so yeah, keep it low. Uh, there's nano machines, but it's pretty much impossible to afford. If I found the cure for cancer, this would definitely be good be the good end she said before that the nano machines can save her but they're really expensive oh wow so the nano machines can save her life but they're expensive that is a kick in the gut okay let's reopen the investigation warehouse district can we redo the final part of that Cold storage warehouse, Sagan residence. Let's let's do a little quick backtrack, and there. Let's do that little backtrack so we get on that route. Now, don't mute the mic. It's not muted. But thank you. Date. I'm sorry for coming so late. I need to talk to you about Iris. What is it? Iris said something to me that was very concerning. She said she's being targeted by an organization called Nizatlas and that she needs help. Does any of this sound familiar? I decided not to tell her about the shooting at the Golden Yokocho. I didn't want her to worry. After a while, Hitomi spoke. <sighs> I didn't intend to hide it from you. I just never found the right time. Huh? She's... sick. Iris has a malignant brain tumor. A brain tumor? It makes her say strange things sometimes. I see. Her delirium could be a result of a brain tumor. 
It can also cause hallucinations and violent thoughts. It makes sense. Everything Iris said was likely a result of her condition. I was summarized it so bluntly, so calmly, but I couldn't stay calm. The stream is probably another two hours. We're only halfway in. All our streams are four to five hours. The words malignant brain tumor circled my mind. Has Iris contacted you? Yes. She said she was staying with a friend. She's with Mizuki. Okay, so she's back home. But it still bothers me. I'm so worried that I couldn't sleep. About her disease. It's a brain tumor. It can cause a number of side effects. Nausea and dizziness. Sometimes her hands and legs go numb. Sometimes she can't control her body temperature. No, but I am kind of warm. Was all caused by her brain tumor? Does she know? I didn't tell her the specifics, but I'm sure she knows. How long has she been sick for? We found out in January. She suddenly collapsed at school. She went to the hospital and they examined her. They found a tumor. According to the doctor, Surgery wouldn't help. You mean? Grade four. Terminal. She has a year to live. At most. That's what the doctor told me. And if they were right, then she only has a few months left. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Wow, and I thought she was just talking shit. Is there any way to save her life? Ordinary treatments won't work, but there is one way to save her life. Which is? Date, it's from Mizuki. <sighs> Why now? Sorry, could you excuse me? I stood up and went to the corner of the room to answer Mizuki's call. What? What happened? Iris, she... she's gone! She disappeared! I only took my eyes off her for a second! What? Where did she go? I don't know, that's why I'm calling! <sighs> but she left a note on the table. Oh, just sent you a picture. Did you get it? I have it now. Opening. I'm going with the person I trust most. Please don't worry about me, Iris. Please don't worry about me, Iris. Iris. I have tried calling Iris with a different line. I cannot connect. It is probable that she turned her phone off. Damn. Mizuki, let's split up and find her. Let Ota know too. Got it. Did something happen? She was eavesdropping. No point hiding it. I told her that Iris is missing. What? Tell me went quiet. She didn't. Uh, she didn't ask why she disappeared. I'm sure she thinks it's the tumor. She thinks that Iris's illness is making her go insane. Iris said that she was going with somebody, with the person she trusts most. Any idea who that might be? No. Okay. I'm gonna go look for her. I'll go too. No, please, stay here. She might come home. But... It's all right. I'll find her. Trust me. Okay. 
So in this rail, what's his name? Um, 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 Renju might still be alive. So she might be going to Renju. Date, the person in Iris's letter. The one she trusts most. Who do you think that is? I see. The man Hitomi was dating six years ago. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. But Iris said that she was looking for him. What are the odds she found him just now? I don't think that's possible. Highly unlikely. Friendship. I think so too. Remember what Iris said? I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. According to the mermaid at Sunfish Pocket, he was looking for Iris. So he's still alive in this route. I think Renju called Iris. And Iris went looking for him. Exactly. Then what can I do? We've been looking for Renju. Everyone at HQ is looking for him too. Not to mention he's on the run with number 89. And even with all of that, we haven't found him. We don't even have any leads. And this is the guy that could have been dating Katomi. If we only had some clues to work with. We wouldn't be in this mess. Renju is alive. That's why Peter betrayed you when you believed her. Are you giving up? Iris might be with number 89 at this very moment. We need to find her immediately. Now think, Date. Where would Renju go? His, his, his house. The cops are there. Lemon's Gate. I'm guessing... Thing, oh, Sagan, he wouldn't go to her house. Sunfish Pocket, maybe. Ota already searched Sunfish Pocket. It's open for business. However, Iris was not there. So, so Ota's basically sitting there with the maids. I didn't ask about Renju, but I am sure that he would have told us. His house has already has cops all over it. I got a call from Mizuki. She went to Lemnus Gate, but no one was there. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean he's not there. He would have the keys. Sagan household? It's true that they've known each other for some time. But when we went to the house, he was not there. So what, he's at his house where the cops are probably staking it out anyway? He just escaped with a wanted criminal. What the hell? Renju's house is currently occupied by officers from HQ. So there's no right answer. If he went back there, we would have been contacted. The cold storage warehouse. Maybe he's there. Are we going to use our x-ray vision to find the frozen body in the little thingy or not? Because I don't know which route that is from, but I know it's from one of the routes. And my mouse is... <laughs> I think the boob lady route is in a separate place. Oh, Iber is his telephone, so, you know. There is no one here. Damn. He's not here. Let's go, Iba. Wait. What's wrong? Is there someone here? No living organisms detected. Then... No living organisms detected. You mean... Let's search the area. We might be able to find something. So Iba could literally detect organisms living or not. But... Never did this. No. This can't be...
So let me get this straight. We've checked this place in countless timelines and no one thought to open the storage area. But someone covered her, covered her up, showing Iris. a degree of respect, meaning they don't want her to be naked. Iris. Either that or the sensor. <laughs> a body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, a class trial will begin. It's a it's a good recap, so we sort of are now where we got locked out last time. So this is all new from now. Have you settled down? The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. I suppose humans are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. Exactly what you said, Aaron, so many times. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. Thinking that Iris died because of me. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? Oh, you're talking now. Was I correct? If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on, and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? The corpse. Maybe the AC is broken, the warehouse was being used to preserve something. Ice cream. Oh, I see you are back to making jokes. I am glad to hear that, but please stay focused. I just want to align this so it looks like she's actually there, which is freaking awesome. Maybe the AC was broken. So the on-off switch was broken, and they couldn't turn it off, right? But they could have shut off the electricity. I find it hard to imagine they would have left it running for no reason. The bills would have been expensive. The warehouse is being used. Why? For what purpose? To preserve something. To preserve something? Yes. Let us move on to the next question. Second question. There was something strange about the corpse. Do you remember what that was? Right eye. Completely frozen and covered by a cloth. It was in by cloth. What is unnatural about that? Well, if you're a serial killer and you're just dumping a body, why would you care about covering it? Isn't it strange? The culprit hid the body because they didn't want it to be found. But then they cover it with a cloth? That implies they thought that someone would eventually find it. But do you know for a fact that the culprit hid the body? And even if they were responsible, it is not uncommon that murderers feel a sudden urge of remorse or pity for their victim. They do? So the cloth was a sign of pity? That is a possibility. So you kill someone, you take out their eyeball, and then you feel bad about it? At what point do you start thinking, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be killing this person? It's completely frozen. Iris's body was completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58. With Iris's weight, just 
just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. <laughs> I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were... Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. This is what keeps getting me. Are there two bodies? But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? Corpse was a hallucination. Iris is actually dead because I have saved Iris Insomnium. You mean... You mean... You've got it. So we were on the money. Vault into the warehouse like I was shot out of the gun. Well, if it has stab wounds on the back, then bingo. X-ray. I don't believe it. The stomach is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. What the fuck? That is screwed up. How? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. Dude, that's pretty messed up. What the hell? The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. Okay, this is just getting weird. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This isn't now Iris. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means... Iris is still alive! So, someone that looks like Iris, that was pregnant, gave birth and then was killed. Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. <sighs> Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least 10 years. Could this be Iris's mother and Hitomi is Iris's adoptive mother? How old is Iris? She's more than 10. She's like 18. Uh, 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 this is getting weird now. 10 years? She was killed more than 10 years ago? Well, she wouldn't decompose if she was frozen. Exactly. But I thought the eye machine was stolen six years ago. See, now everything I know about this game is out the window. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The stabs from so uh, So's Somnium. Maybe that stabbing wasn't our Iris, it was something that happened many years ago. Sunday night, we saw So here. It's not uncommon for a killer to return to a scene of a crime. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnia. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than 10 years ago. I believe that is the case. 
Man, this changes so much of what we know. Renju and So? And what bothers me is that if Date is So's son, and Date's memory from before six years ago is missing, it doesn't rule out Date of being a killer for this shit. Because it would make sense that So would cover for his son. But he didn't hesitate to shoot him in Mizuki's route, so it's a bit... But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to... But it's very possible that... His mind was lost in Somnium if he stayed there for more than six... There's so many possibilities now. My brain is just fucked. Like, there's the whiteboard of wisdom that I had at the back of my brain drawing together conclusions based on things that I knew, and now we just added something completely different. So, Sejima. A pitiful corpse. Just looking at her makes my chest hurt. Aiba, who is this? Unknown. A Jane Doe. Not Iris. But you would still be able to get a DNA sample, wouldn't you? I mean, her body's been frozen. The DNA would be preserved, wouldn't it? Covering for your son? We haven't seen parents doing that before in this game. Is this whole game about parenting or some shit? Everyone's got daddy issues. Mommy issues or son issues at some point. It's, it's, it's really turning into a thing. You have a theory, but you can't say. It's okay to have theories. But unfortunately, they didn't turn up anything. Ice is whereabouts are still unknown. I'm worried about her, but without any leads, we'll just be looking for her blindly. I should focus on the investigation for now. It will eventually lead me to Iris, I'm sure of it. With that in mind, I headed to So's mansion. I thought I told you. Never to show your face here again. A cod. An island where the porn is. A tree. A lantern. A mansion. So I guess they're not gonna give me interesting shit. A bridge. Okay, so I guess it's a serious scene, so they're super serious. Question him. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman! You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Question. Where is Renju Okiura? You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two. And that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Suddenly, a gang of bodyguards stormed out of the mansion. In an instant, they surrounded me. <clears throat> We'd like to ask you to please leave. Really? They just let me leave? Can't complain. Damn it, so! There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. We would have been detained immediately. Who would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? I'm uh, pretty sure Mizuki is our responsibility. Ah! Calm down, Date. 
We still have our lead. I can't even take those bodyguards seriously. They have like a quarter of a brain between them. <laughs> lead. Those criminals won't say yes to did you kill her. Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's give her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? Really? I'm screenshotting that. That is becoming a screenshot. Like, straight on the ball. Like, because reasons. Like, straight away screenshotting that. Not even joking. Straight away. Gotta be screenshotted. Alice and Iris. I believe it fits nicely. All right, Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who? Allow me to ask you three questions. It's always three questions with you. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? What? Two days ago? Earlier today? Yesterday? Three days ago, Saturday night. Three days ago, Saturday night when I sinked to the abyss. Yes, in the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Question two. Who is the girl? Alice. Adrian. A virus. A virus? She was way too big to be a virus. Take this seriously, Dante. Adrian. Adrian? Adrian! No, of course not. Who the fuck is Adrian? Iris? Huh? Are you serious? How did you come to that conclusion? Alice. Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? So's Somnium. Adrian. Adrian! Rocky! Adrian! What the fuck reference is this? Rocky! I'm so confused. But seriously, I am talking about the corpse. I have no idea who Adrian is. Do you think is. you should be choking at a time like this? Ah, don't get it. Mizuki. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. Wait, what? You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. I thought it was, um, um, So's, not Mizuki's. But prophecies are nonsense. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. So what? She's got genetic memory from her dad or some shit? Therefore... Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. Kakume's shrine. The shrine? Why would she be there? Rocky before? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Maybe she's with Iris. Okay, let's go. Because doesn't Iris go to the shrine too? Maybe when Iris says I go to the person I trust most, she's talking about God. I don't know. Date. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. Hmm. What's up with the Chizuya? You wash your hands and face here. Monument. I don't think anything is gonna give us. Yeah, it's uh, because it's a serious thing. We just have to talk to her. Where is Renju? Where is Oto? What are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. 
She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. Oh, the very first time we saw the girl under the carousel. Right. The girl whose corpse made you call Iris and tell her to stay safe and stuff. Achua is more trustworthy than God. Don't you mean Achuna? You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten-free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. Aerial yoga? And we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Where's Ota? I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. Why would he go there? Where's Renju? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. It's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. Hmm. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? It could be. So I need to know where he is. But... I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Hmm. About Alice. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. I told Mizuki about the frozen corpse we called Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Oh boy. Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. Please don't tell me that Renju was purposely grooming a girl to look like this girl that was murdered to do some shit regarding faking someone's death. I don't know. So that corpse... Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? About Alice. I told Mizuki everything. About how Ranger ran off with Assassin 89. How 89 is connected to So Sejima. And the bloody Somnium that. And that Sejima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. Mizuki looked down at her feet quietly. I could see agony in her face. The silence lingered. Finally, she steeled herself, lifted her head, and spoke. Okay. I'll tell you about Alice. Okay. It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemnus Gate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. So he got tracked in a warehouse place and he didn't notice the cab. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift and I looked under the hood myself. And then... Oh, that's pretty I saw cool. Alice's dead body. Wow, that would have been... But at the time, I thought it was Iris. What did you do after that? Did you talk to Renju about it? Why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah... Mm -hmm. Did you talk to Renju about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. 
I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of Somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. Hmm. What did you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy. Or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. About Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night. Before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some and... About Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Ah, work! I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. Okay. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. How long was he managing the warehouse? Hey, Mizuki. How long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. So, are you telling me that is Iris's mom? What the hell? That's what the man told me. What the hell? 18 years? From that long ago? Yes. Thanks, Fab, by the way. Great work. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica Ey, 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. What the hell? A graduate of a Toku high school. Dude! What? Oof. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. <laughs> wow. That is one hell of a chill down my spine! We've known each other for 20 years now. <laughs> and it's summer here. Dude! When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. This is Monica. Hitomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Monica's body was found just now. Chill, 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 and more chill. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Aiba, where is Hitomi right now? Wait, 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 wait. So Renju's in on it. Hitomi knows about the death. Iris is the daughter that's adopted by Hitomi. So Sejima's in on it. Where the hell is this going? Did, who killed her and why? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. 
What the hell? Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Roger that. Kuma, how much would you need a month to go full time if you were in Japan? Around 2k to afford rent, food, power, and things like that. Around 2k. You could live in Japan on about 22, 24 grand a year, but you gotta calculate tax. About two grand a month. I might have to work the corner some nights though. Gotta pay those bills. We'll stream for yen. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine me working as a maid? Oh my god. I'm sure there's some kinky Japanese businessman out there that would be totally into the, it. What the hell? What the hell? You're awfully calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? I can hit time to stay long. That's irrelevant when she was murdered, where she was found, autopsy report information on her because that body isn't iris have you tried the patreon i haven't uploaded anything yet i will i will start mass uploading stuff on patreon and release that with videos that can't go on youtube and you know it don't worry i will we'll start doing that are you serious yes her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. We can prove it. Uh, where she was found. The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. It's all weird. Sho yeah, you're right. Sho did say Dante was his son. So like... God, this is so... What the hell? And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. We're completely going in uncharted territory right now. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Iwai, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Why would you say the full name, though? How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything! Date, she's not going to talk. We'll get the car battery. Sync with her. Really? What the hell now? Wait, so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get Date, this straight. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please, come back within six minutes. We, 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 we question people, we detain people. We don't get information, and then we sink them. We drug them, and then go into their minds. And this is sanctioned by the police, okay. I can't promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't! Why not? You know why! Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes! But 
If it's only a little. No, not even a little. If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable. But what does that mean exactly? It's happened before, hasn't it? It's happened to Date, hasn't it? You, you two motherfuckers. Date's not Date, is he? He's not. Are you two hiding something? No. Bullshit. I'm not hiding anything. Then let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. Come on, just tell me. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. <laughs> I'll just say it. Pewter, you say it. What the fuck? Me? Now I know why they call you the boss. You know more about it than I do. Well... I'm listening. Ask Pewter. He knows more about it than I do. Boss looks defeated. What happens after six minutes? Well, first off, six minutes is... Not a hard limit. <laughs> Why is boss so hot? Well, clearly you have a type. It could be seven, or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? Uh, refresh me. Yeah, why? If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. The white remains inside your shell. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return to its shell. So your consciousness will stay in the other person's mind. Meaning Date is not Date. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. A swap? Huh? And there's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subject's as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Is it a swap or is it... Mind, consciousness, memory... They are traded. Switched. That's why Date has 69's memories. He's 69 and 69 is Date. The human brain has what can be understood as a memory limit. Of how many years? One brain can only hold one consciousness. And it can only contain one person's memories. So is it possible to have one person's consciousness but another person's memories? Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. So you could literally mind swap as many times as you want using this thing. But doesn't that mean that if Iris is dying, she would be incentivized to mind swap to someone else's body to stay alive? What if the reason they're grabbing her is to save her, not kill her? Why did you keep this a secret? I was unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But 
Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. So what, they would Orochimaru themselves? A Project Sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Even sinkers are on a need-to-know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about Project Sink, the entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The Sync machine isn't just for entering a person's Somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. Well, apparently someone's already intending to use it. That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let the secret get out. Well... Swapping bodies between two people? So step one is swapping the consciousness, step two is swapping the memory. So what would happen if you just swapped the consciousness but you haven't yet swapped the memory? Does that mean the memories that Date is seeing are from 69 or 68 or 86 or whatever the fuck you want to call them? Um, meanwhile the consciousness is swapped, that means Date is in the prisoner's body. Something's up. Trading minds? Something's up. Roger, you remember what I told you earlier? Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. It's not about catching a killer. It's about also... Speaking. Imagine you commit a crime, and instead of you going to jail for it, someone else goes to jail for it, because they look like you. So what if So's son, being Date, committed a crime, but instead of him going to jail for it, someone else went to jail? Or well, some shit like that. I don't know. You could use it that way. Where the hell are we going? God? Iba? I am the god of fire. Nani? I burn erotic books with my flames of red hot anger. I, how ruthless. Ow! Well, that didn't last long. Really? Upskirt shot? You really gonna do this to me? Is this what they do to Iba? Are you okay? That is not cool. That hurt. I'll let you read this porno mag if it'll make you feel better. What the fuck? I will burn it. The There's... fog is making it pitch black. What is it, Silent Hill? Is this a Spire of the Dragon thing? The light over there. Is that a firefly? Or is it like a Devil May Cry thing? Somnium scan! Activate! What the hell is that? Who the hell is that? Oh, this is going to be the murder, isn't it? Is that even a skirt? It's a towel. Reveal the hidden secrets. Okay, the real question is, where's the little Iber ball in this one? What the hell? Cutscene away. She was going for a jog? It disappeared? No, wait. It might still be nearby. So when we walk, we see parts. Ah, found ya! 
Kuma wins. What? Winning. And that is how Kuma wins. Talk about a stroke of luck, and that's my good luck for the day. A flower bud. I cannot identify the variety. Worship it. Worship it? Yeah. I will pray to it as though I am mourning the dead. What? I did something. It bloomed a little? I don't know what caused it, but it's better than nothing happening. Thank you, John. Really? Really? So my good luck is continuing? Wow, I am Nagito is going to fuck my ass in about two hours with this good luck. Shake, shake, shake. Da -da 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 -da. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that booty. Eh, tree, a hole in tree one. A hole in a tree. I may be able to fit inside. Uh, scream, peek inside, stick in a hand, tackle it. Uh, no, 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 stick your hand in. I am not going to be eaten or anything, right? One way to find out. Whoa! What? I fell, but I am still in the forest. It's darker than before. It looks like the pink of Iris Monaka's hair. What? Is someone there? That voice is... Find out where that voice is coming from. What the hell? What the hell? We made the right decision again. Um... Which bloody direction should I be going? Wait, Renju's there? Well, we're here at the rock. Renju's over there. Renju? Renju Okiura. Really? You want to look like a pimp? Inspect him. Flirt with him. Hit him. Talk to him. I don't know. Flirt with him. Yoo-hoo, Renju. Come get some of this. Oh my god. Did she just cat? Come on! Sorry, that was a bad idea. Don't apologize. This is Renju's fault for having bad taste. Wow, deep down she's still a girl. Five minutes left, Dante. Renju Okiura. Uh, I guess, uh, talk to him. Renju, what are you doing in a place like this? He won't answer. Not in a place like this, at least. Renju Okiura. Respect him. He looks young, but this is definitely Renju Okiura as he appeared approximately 20 years ago. That's a long time ago. Renju Okiura. I don't know. Hit him. This is for neglecting your responsibility to Mizuki, you coward. Did he just dodge? No use. I can't hit him. This Renju is still a teenager. He wouldn't know Mizuki yet. She still wasn't conceived. Okay, so apparently not Renju. Rock number one. What do I do with a rock? A rock. Worship the rock? But it's a rock. You worship the flower. Gods live in the rocks too, you know. A rather Japanese way of thinking. Just try it. If you insist. You might like it. How was it? You've cleared your head, right? Yes. I now feel a sense of emptiness. Guess it was a waste of time. I do not want to hear that from you. Four minutes. A rock. Kick it, lift it, I don't know, lift it. 
Do what? Just try. Understood. Someone's got a screenshot that. Well, did you find anything? No, of course not. A rock. Uh, investigate it? This is a simple rock, but... Is there any kind of pattern? No, there does not appear to be. This rock is useless then. A rock. What happens if we kick it? Understood. My foot hurts. I see. My foot hurts! Sorry, sorry. Okay, so it's not the rock. It's not the flower. What if I follow these lights? It will guide me somewhere. Rock number two. A rock. Can I worship this rock? But it's a rock. Gods live in the rocks too, you know. A rather Japanese. Just try it. If you insist. They just recycle lines. How was it? You've cleared your head, right? Yes. I guess it was a waste of time. I do not want... Really? Did they just recycle that entire dialogue? Can I check it? This is a simple rock, but... Is there any kind of pattern? No, there does not appear to be. Okay, so it has nothing to do with the rocks. What about hole number two? A hole in the tree. It looks about as big around as a soccer ball. Uh, a, 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 a scream in it? The Emperor is naked! Okay, what about the Empress, though? <laughs> the Empress is naked! Sounds like my kind of empire. Let's move there. I don't see anything. Nor do I. Well, at least I have a hole fun. in the tr I don't know. Stick your hand inside. I am not going to be sucked in, am I? You probably are. That's strange. It should have worked. Did you want to see me get sucked in? Yeah. A hole in the. Three minutes, Date. I cannot see anything. It is unnaturally dark. Anything else? I do not see anywhere that air could be flowing from. Well, it's not this hole, then. Rock number three. A rock. Do what? Ah, oh, so the hint is to shake something. Well, I can't shake Renju. I can't shake the rock. Can I shake this thing? Figure this out at some point. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Where's the tree? A hole. Tackle the hole. How do you tackle a hole? Understood. I will do my best. Oh, okay. This is a picture of Hitomi Renju. And Monica. Everyone is so young. Hold on to that. Sounds creepy coming from Dante. Okay, so the photo. What else am I shaking now? 
do I show the picture to Renju? Show him the picture. Renju, look at this. Wait! Renju, stop! I think we did all the entertaining stuff in this Somnium. We should just focus on finishing it. So when we reset it, we'll just start from the beginning and we'll be fine. A hole. What is this hole? It wasn't here earlier. I guess jump in. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Understood. <laughs> really? Why were you doing this again to my Iba? Uh, it's even more difficult to see now. Another voice? Monica! That's Hitomi's voice. Where is she? Look for her. Oh, so that actually moved us in the correct direction. Hole three, rock, rock, hole. Hole in tree number You have three. one minute left. Another hole in a tree. About as big as a capybara, I estimate. Those are pretty big. Tackle it again? Leave it to me. I will break it down. Huh? Ah! Date, perhaps we should pursue a more peaceful route. Yeah, I agree. How unslavic of you. A hole in a tree. Wait. Shake. Scream. Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, what are you trying to say? Hitomi won't remember this sink, but still. What? Hitomi stopped. Date, you've got less than 30 seconds. So we sort of know where we're going. That's Hitomi. Touch her, talk to her, inspect her, hug her. I don't know, hug her. Hitomi! I see. Well? She dresses modestly, but underneath she has a curvaceous body. What the hell? Good work, Iba. That's good to know. <laughs> they make a team. That's a to Touch her. Where? Well, um... You could, you know... Touch her... But in this Somnium, she might be a minor. Her stomach. Test how soft her stomach is. If you say so. I touched it. So, what's the softness situation? Tell me. It was soft. Nice and pliant. No noticeable abdominal muscles. Valuable information indeed. Thank you, Iba. Oh, damn it, Dante. You old pervert. Date, we can't! Damn it! At this point, she's just enabling Date that she is. Okay, so at least we know the first section of this thing. The rocks have absolutely nothing to do to it. You pray to a flower, you tackle a damn tree. I like, what the hell? This Somnium is so weird, I don't get it. I don't get the purpose of this thing. Maybe we will find out. Oh, glorious flower. Let's go to the tree. We're going the right way. Another tree. Tackle. 
Renju should be over there. Five minutes left, Date. We're doing this like so efficiently, so there's no way we could have done it any better. Show the picture. He runs like a sissy boy. We just jump down a hole. Where's the hole? Hole. Last 30 seconds, fuck it. to go to another hole and scream. Four minutes. The time you should be there. Shake something. to shake something. Let's take a look if there's another tree. Uh, hole in tree. Let's see if we can talk to her. That's a... Hitomi, what are you doing here? Guess she can't hear you. She looks like she's looking for something. Okay. So it must be the hole in the tree again. That's a rock. Must be the tree. Leave it to me. Nothing. Peek inside. What is this? A web of some kind? Well, it would have to be a spider web. Uh, I have web on my face. Don't you dare make that joke, Three Dante. minutes, Dante. I won't get... What'd you find? A cord bracelet has appeared on my wrist. Perhaps it belongs to someone. It might be important. Hold... Okay. Does this go to Hitomi? Something would have to go to her at some point. Do you remember this? Okay, she also runs. Wait! Follow her! On it! So... Reveal the secret. They must be over there somewhere? Another hole. Well, let's just jump down another hole. It doesn't look like the rocks do anything here. They're kind of just a waste of time. A large hole. Oh, that's a bit. If there is nothing left to do. Sayonara, love. Yeah. Date, what is going on? I don't know. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. Can you feel your way around? I can try. Okay, we're getting closer. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. And now I've got absolutely no direction, so let's... Oh. Oh. Oh, let's go around. Oh. I'm sure we'll be able to find our way around this thing. Oh, glorious flower. A lycoris flower. Can I grab you? I feel a little awkward, but... It's useless. The roots must be strong. It won't budge. Maybe it's a metaphor for something. I don't know. They're love blooming. They're journey to adulthood. Flower. Something in a womb. Worship it again, I guess. I guess. No? Nothing is happening. That's to be expected, but. Investigate it? That is a cluster amaryllis, also known as a lycoris. I have no doubt. These flowers are poisonous. 
sometimes known as death flowers. In the language of flowers, it means passion, reunion, and sad memories. Okay. Dig it up. Let's do it. Wh what? Something's happening. Another hole. Must you have, have one done... minute left. Must have done something right. A large hole. Oh, really? I'm not going to have the time for that. We've come this far. I will not protest now. Does this count as me finishing the Somnium, or do I time now? Does this count as winning or losing? You buried her? That is... Wait, her eyes already taken out. What the fuck? Wait, but from the Cyclops killer videos... There was a person committing the crime, and there was a person watching. Is it possible that these two were the Cyclops killer, Renju and Hitomi? Is that possible? Is it possible that Renju was the original Cyclops killer? He would have been young, but it's still possible. But then why would Kumakura be the one framed for it? Hitomi. I think I know what happened 18 years ago. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains. And you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. Wait, so they found her body. Okay. Then why didn't they report it if they didn't commit the murders? My guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. But if you didn't do it, why were you hiding it to begin with? Like, why are you protecting him? Was he the father? Oh boy. Oh my god, that theme just started playing. Oh god. Ooh. Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. So he was the father. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. So, is it possible that he was the father and then murdered her after she threatened to expose him? I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. And you know what So does because you were involved with the Kumakuras. So doesn't care about you. He was the father. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He thinks you're still pregnant. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. You're gonna pretend like you didn't have it yet. He must be panicking. 
If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. Really? You'd kill her? It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. Oh. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. You think he's gonna believe you? But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. <sighs> my god. Dude, chills down my spine. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. It's a GPS transmitter. You had those 20 years ago? Just to be extra safe. This is 20 years ago. That tech didn't exist. But that aside... I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. Holy fuck. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal. That he wanted to change Japan. He's a politician! A corrupt motherfucker! But I didn't understand any of it. And she was an impressionable girl. In high school! He tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened. And it ended in tragedy. I could not have predicted this at fucking all. What happened next, you already know. L let alone that there was a kid. Neither Renju or I saw it happen. So I don't know how much of this is accurate. But we could guess what happened. You met him at a fishery? You idiot! So was the killer So's son? Or was it the assassin? Or... Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. And they thought they killed a pregnant woman? Dude, even in the underworld, that's taboo, man. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. That's not something you brag about, even amongst criminals. Jesus Christ! What did So say to Monaka? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. About Monaka's killer. Date, you said that Monaka was killed by So, right? And his son is overseas at some English prestigious thing, but that would make sense as to why 89 doesn't have an accent, because he learned English somewhere else, but can also speak Japanese. But that's not true. Monaka was killed by Saito Sajima. And that is, is that Date? The son of So and his late wife. 
So his son was thinking he was protecting his father. And the father protected the... Fucking hell. How do you raise these kids? And he's having this attack. Saito was 12 at the time. 12? Fuck me. 12. Yes. 12 plus 18 would be 30. That's Date's age. But why would a little boy do that? To protect his father. I don't know. I can't imagine. What happened after Manaka's murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. And then disposing of the body was to bury it in a forest. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? And you guys went to a forest unarmed in the middle of the night? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so... Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. And you adopted her as your own kid because she was your friend. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We I knew what the hole was for. But I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Initiate? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. So they covered it up as a serial killing instead. Beautiful. <gasps> the Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Well, that's how they get initiated. They commit crimes together. It's mutually assured destruction if they squeal. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw. <laughs> Monica! But the Cyclops killer in one of the timelines kills So. And in the other ones, it's Renju and uh, Thingo. So who would want to kill both So and Renju out of this bunch? Monica! Unless it's two separate people. Can't. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? 
They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then, they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. It's pretty fucked up that stuff like this actually happens. Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. I could not have fucking predicted this. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. So you were doing it to frame So or blackmail him? But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. But why did So want to do the ritualistic murder of Iris here in a fucking Monica? bear costume? What the fuck? Don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you, I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. Maybe Shoko was just killed because she was a bitch. I don't know! Baby. She has a sweet scent. A scent that touches the bottom of my heart. A cute sleeping face. I'm getting chills throughout this thing. Renju, what should we name her? About Monaka's killer. Did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. This whole fucking story is about people being parents to people they're not even the parents of. Be sure to raise her responsibly. And, uh, and like, just like that, she became an internet idol. But then again, he was just looking after her. In whatever way he could. He didn't really exploit a girl. He was just trying to look after his best, his best friend's daughter. By giving her a... Fucking hell. I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? 
about the kill. I don't really want to discuss this, but there's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. He must have eavesdropped between the two of them, and he thought he was protecting his father. No twelve-year-old kid is that bloodthirsty. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. Well, that's gonna be ironic considering you're talking to him right now. So? His son? Or the Kumakuras? I'm pretty sure Date is the son. Well, we fucking know he is, so... What, what the... I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? What should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about... Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. And the colored part of your eye. And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that. It's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? So the title of the game has more meaning in Japanese. Don't you think it's nice? I means love, huh? Iris. Iris. Yeah, I really like it. And so my life with Iris began. That is so sad. So Reg is working his butt off, not only for himself to be successful, but to make sure he's got control of the warehouse where the body is being stored so they can get revenge later, but also at the same time trying to help Iris with whatever career path he can get. Hitomi becomes a teacher looking after little kids while she's raising her best friend's daughter, trying to pretend like it never happened. Shit. Shit. In the classified ending, Pewter said it developed his eye fetish after killing a woman. Yeah. I remember that. Damn. So love the Somnium Files. Wow. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. Well, that explains the singing. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take ten seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up. Sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Mama! Mama! Woof! Woof! Mama! I'm wet! I'm wet! Sweepy! Up! Mommy, I won race today! Dude, this is going to be so fucked up because they're all linked together like this. Kid at 12 murders. Oh, 
Jesus, this is gonna be a train wreck by the end of it. Is mommy proud of me? Mommy, I wanna see Milky Moon again. Mommy, you are so good at dancing. Love is another word for family. When you Mommy, think about it, the entire theme done. of this game has been love. Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it! My body dances on its own! Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! Hey, Mommy! Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? As long as it's Uncle, I'm all for it! The last question remains exactly who Uncle was originally before the switch back and forth. And if it ends up being that uncle was the person that killed Iris's mother, that is gonna be a whole 180 degree fucked up situation. I say go for it! I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her. But... I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating. But there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law. And the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that... I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris. But... Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. In January... Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was. Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses! So So is very rich, and he's made a fuck ton of cash using that property buy and sell with that entire part of the city being poisoned. He could afford it. They can even cure cancer! And they go, beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said.
So it's possible 89 is the original sinker that swapped places with Date, and by busting him out and knowing the location of the machine, they could hijack So, get into his body, and then by being in his body gain access to all his funds, then use the funds to fix up Iris, and then they can go back to their own bodies and then dispose of So. Question is, is that what they're planning to do? I mean, you're sacrificing an eyeball, right? You've gone that far. Unless you can hijack the new machine. In which case, you don't even have to sacrifice that. Nano machines. Fuck, it's always back to the frickin' nano machines. Nano machines could remove the tumor. But the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it. About how I could get my hands on that kind of money. But I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. Shoko? Was Shoko helping with that? So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. No, don't fucking blackmail him, just hijack his body. Fuck blackmail. Fuck that shit. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come, after I hinted at what happened 18 years ago. Oh boy. I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until So came. Please tell me you at least had some freaking backup. When he finally arrived, He walked over to the workbench, where I had laid Monica's body. Okay, so he doesn't know it's you. He lifted the cloth and looked down. <sighs> he whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. Yeah, that would shock anybody. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. Oh, hello, Zero. Long time no see. I know who did it, and I know she had a baby inside her. Oh, don't fucking reveal that shit. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saito. Not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras. Lol at how he has to run out the back of his house when you met him to arrive at the warehouse. I could see why So was so impatient with you that scene. Even if he found out who I was, without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career. Fuck the political career, that's fucking jail! Not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. Not to mention his son. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back. But then, something unexpected happened. So that's why he was at the Kumakuras. Good point. And then Date came. I saw you, Date. 
I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around... Well, this explains it. Uh, it can't be! Iris. Wow. I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. I couldn't gather my thoughts. I don't know what to say. Instead, Iba did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Really? You're gonna play the sympathy card on this one? Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. That's one fucked up family tree. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Okay, and do we find out whether or not So was actually dating Hitomi now? That would be fucked up! Tomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her. Just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. And you couldn't just do it with a photo. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. He looks a little bit drained at the moment. Date, snap out of it. I heard Iva call for me and came too. Whoa. Can I just save the game really quickly in case this shit crashes? So does that mean Date is Iris' half-brother? We're going to find out, aren't we? And we're also going to find out whether or not her uncle is also the person that killed her mother. And who is technically her uncle. It would be awkward if uncle is technically uncle who murdered mommy. And then slept with stepmommy. Okay! Why did Rohan remove Manaka's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Katooing last Sunday's events. Did you tell Renju about the blackmail? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. You didn't even run the idea of Bahastin, oh my god. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then, I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. And Pewter acted on Renju's request to steal Iris. But Renju knows who Iris is. So he might have removed the eye to try to do a body switch with someone. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. Well, I'm sorry! The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. 
Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Summarize for me. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly... I headed for the exit. Wait! Hmm? Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. Well, fucking tell me then! At around 4 o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. So you're getting reverse blackmailed. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. Listen to the rest of the story. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Yes. He wants to switch back bodies. If he switches back and then Date is caught in 89's body, he's gonna get sent to prison, not the other way around. The culprit knows me? No, he knows your body though. You are so son. Well, maybe not your mind, but your body is. Explains the fucking hair. It must be Renju. Hmm. But why would Renju be helping him? What location? It's gonna be the other machine, isn't it? That's why his eye's missing. Something's up. I'm sorry, but this stops now. Oh god fucking damn it. What? Is she drugged? She's shot! Date! Run! Boss! Please, do not worry. I merely put her to sleep. With a bullet. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is. Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. Huh? The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case is all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know. But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation. As of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. <sighs> what will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Pretend to comply, then shove the gun up his ass. Sideways. Iva, can you turn the power off? Easily. Naisu with Raisu. I hope you're really good at close quarters. Alright, get ready. Three, two, one! <gasps> good! Wait, you left a gun in there? What the fucking... Why do... Why... Now tell me. Why is the gun in the locker with the guy you just tied up? 
Explain. Explain. Why the fuck? You've got boss, you've got nano machines, you've got lockers. And you left the gun with him. Clearly you haven't played enough Metal Gear Solid. Get back. Get back to the HD collection. Right now. Whoever designed this game, you need to play some more MGS. You clearly didn't understand it. Where is the location? I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you... Then come with me. Alright, take me there. Again, why are we not giving her a gun? Um, uh, one question. What happens to boss? She was bleeding. Of course, it's the abandoned factory. Why wouldn't it be? I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I knew that. How did I know that? Because you're a shifter. The corners of my mind were aching. Date, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. What? They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years. Including backups. Pewter. Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. How did he untie... I'm very disappointed. I summoned some ice, but that will only buy time. I have four hours at the most. After my ice is broken, you will be able to access Wadget, my core program. You will be able to destroy my mind. Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. The higher ups clearly see you as a threat. So we kill Pewter. Problem solved. I suppose their motivation hardly matters now. Can you shut off the power at Abyss? The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to Abyss within four hours. Or else I will cease to exist. Date, what's wrong? Nothing. Just... Alright. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. And don't get knocked down and please, for the love of Christ, clear your goddamn corners. Four hours. It's fine. That should be plenty of time. I gripped my evolver and got moving. We're gonna get knocked out for three hours, aren't we? Clear your corners. Clear your corners. Clear your corners. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. Clear your corners! Clear your corners! Did you clear your corners? Is that... Ew. Renju? And he didn't clear his goddamn corners! Last of Us 2. AI the Somnium Files. Every fucking game I play. Every fucking game I play. No one clears their fucking corners. It seems that people don't understand the simple concept of clearing a fucking corner. I am pissed off. I am pissed off. I am very, very, very disappointed.
Well, if that's locked... Of course it is. Say what you will about 89. He has nice fashion sense. Guys, please, for the love of God, clear your corners. If you don't, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, wait. I didn't get the thing done under time. Oh. I didn't get it done with under, like, X amount of seconds to go. That's pretty sad. But, guys, please. Your corners. You're supposed to clear your corners. Well, we are at the four and a half hour mark and we do have another AI the Somnium file stream tomorrow where we're planning to do the ending. So I hope I will see you there because I am at my limit because I do have to be at a restaurant in six hours. I'm already sleep deprived and I need to get in my Halloween costume, which is going to be me dressed as a priest. By which I mean I have not had enough time to plan my costume, so I'm just going to wear a black suit, black shirt, with the little thingy. <laughs> Peter doesn't get just a car battery, he gets two. We've got a ways to go for final stretch. Guess we'll finish this tomorrow. But wow, for the love of God, clear your goddamn corners! <laughs> That's just painful. So, I will see you guys tomorrow for AI The Somnium File finale. I hope you enjoyed. If you were watching the replay, make sure you're there. If you're watching this months later, well, enjoy the next episode. Thank you guys for being awesome. Thank you for all the ongoing support. I really do appreciate it. I think at some point we had like 60 people at some point in the stream watching at the same time, which is an awesome number. So thank you for being awesome. It seems that a lot of people have jumped on this bandwagon and it is one hell of a ride and the feels really hit us hard today. Really hit us hard today. Tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be interesting. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. I'm sure tomorrow's going to be one hell of a stream. So I hope to see you there. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you guys for all the ongoing support. I hope you guys are on Discord because that is where we hang out when we're not streaming. The link is in the description. And thank you sponsors and donators for being awesome and helping us buy games like this one as soon as they come out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Nijikuma out. Bye. See you guys then.